me talk to you somebody says what if if somebody's called of god and he falls into sin maybe he commits adultery or he commits fornication the call is still there intact the call is there intact dr damina are you saying we can commit adultery you must be stupid to think like that because if you're not stupid even a man that is not in church knows adultery is not right you know i am your father right what if i fall back into alcohol the call is there what if i go and become a native doctor there is still a call on your life see the gift and callings of god are without repentance when god gives you he has given you and nobody can take it even you cannot take it say i am called shout it very loud i am called say without a shadow of doubt i am called of god and i will fulfill my call i didn't hear it. and amen like thunder please sit down let me talk to you somebody says if you leave me you lose your ministry it's a lie all those preachers that like to threaten people it's a lie it's fraud he says calm afternoon's calm it's not because you came to me that you have a ministry it's because you came to christ you may leave me but you didn't leave christ yes you may leave me but you didn't leave christ there's no scripture ever that say you and me will die together the day you leave me you lose your ministry it's a lie in fact sometimes it's when you leave you fulfill your ministry separate unto me Paul and Barnabas for the ministry. Sometimes for the ministry, a separation can happen. The only thing is that he must follow protocol. Yes, you follow protocol. You do it right. The gifts and callings of God are without repentance. God doesn't call you and say, I changed my mind. For him to change his mind means he's not God. That means something took him by surprise. See, before God called you, he looked into time. He traveled through the eons of time and went to the end of your lifetime and traveled back. Look at all the things you are capable of doing because he knows your entire ability. He saw your choices. Not He's not the one responsible, but he has knowledge of it. See, it's one thing to be responsible for. It's another thing to know. It is called for knowledge, not, not for deciding. He didn't for decide. He for knew. Those are two different things. Am I teaching good here? Those are two different things. He didn't for decide. He for knew what you will decide. If he for, it means before you came, he has been. That means when you are coming, you are coming to where he has been. And as God is so into your entire lifetime. And after seeing everything to your logical conclusion, all your failures, all your mistakes, all your mess. That's why you don't try to brand for God. Don't try branding. You're just a fool of yourself. You can't pretend. Just be yourself. He loves you like that. Don't come up to God and be making up. Father, you know what I'm trying to say. You, you are a joke. You don't know that before you package, he saw well you were packaging relax after God saw everything to the end of your life he now took his call and put on you boom I have called you in spite of irrespective of I know you'll be a mess I know you will fail but it is not going to be dependent on you this call is dependent on me faithful is he who call it who also will do it you are not the doer of the call the caller is the doer your work is just to cooperate and let his doings find expression. I feel like I'm teaching good in this place. You're not the doer. That's why the Bible says, who also has made us able ministers of the New Testament, not of the later, but of the spirit. For the later kill it, but the spirit give it life. Not that we're sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves. For our sufficiency is of God. Somebody shout, I am God sufficient. I'm not hearing you at all. I am God sufficient. Shout it loud, I have the call of God upon my life. And that call will be fulfilled in my lifetime. I didn't hear a good amen. 
Say with me, I'm not afraid of failure. I'm not afraid of missing it. I will just be myself. I'm in my father's house. I didn't hear a good amen. How many of you have children? When your children make mistake, you kill him. Is there anybody like that? Sometimes when your children make mistake, you clap for them. Say, ah, you've tried. I didn't even know you could stand up and even take a step. Ah, ah. You took a step, then you fell. Clap for him. Ba, 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 ba. Again, again. Ba, ba. Why? Because you are encouraged to see that your child that was crawling at least took a step. The falling is not what matters, it's the step. Then if you that are evil know how to celebrate the failure of your children. How much more your heavenly father? God knows you are trying to walk in his plan. He knows you are trying to walk in his purpose. That you miss it doesn't mean it has expired. In fact, that you took a step and miss it is something. Say, I hear you. I didn't hear you. Say, I hear you. You miss it, it's not the end of it. Take another step. By the time you do two, three times, you will take three steps. Practice makes perfect. Some say, I tried to prophesy. I miss fire. Try again. Say, Sulaba, Sulaba, Sul. Don't say yet the Lord. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> Tomorrow, stand again. Helema, Kurama, Kalaba. Don't say yet the Lord. I am, I'm with you. I am with you. I am with you. I am with you. I'm coming again. <laughs> Glory! Because even spiritual things we learn. Paul said concerning spirituals, I will not have you ignorant. So there's a learning process. There's a learning process. Even in the oppression of the gifts of the spirit, there's a learning process. You know, in, on the day of Pentecost, they all prophesied like babies. Their prophecies were not clear because they prophesied like babies on the day of Pentecost. That's why the only thing they could say is we had them say the wonderful works of God. <laughs> there, was, there was no specific details. It just say we had them say the wonderful works of God. In Cornelius' house, the first day the Gentiles spoke in tongues. They too, they said we had them magnify God. No specifics. But as they grew, specifics began to happen. So in the things of God, you learn, you grow. And don't be afraid of failing. Because if you're afraid of failing, you will never start. Don't be afraid of failing. A man that is afraid of failure never starts. God has got your back. If you fall, he will, he will raise you up. If you fall, he will bounce you back. I'm not hearing a good amen. amen. Say, God is my father. My father loves me. Just the way I am. Exactly the way I am. If I'm difficult, that is one of the things that attracted my father to me. If I'm stubborn, <laughs> that's one of the things that attracted my father to me. And he knows how to handle me like this. I didn't hear a powerful amen. Is somebody blessed tonight?